What up, YouTube world? I have two videos. <clears throat> These are things behind the Kit Kat and the old Laughing Cow Cheese Dipper thing. That stack. That stack. And this recently open stack need to be put on film. <clears throat> Pictures need to be taken and then like stow them away. But, 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 I'm gonna get in a contest video for a guy I found, I think, maybe a couple months ago. And it was through one of the Facebook groups that, uh, I don't know if it's the Lambo Leap or some, or the, ah, uh, I can't even remember the one. Derek Robbins started. <clears throat> if I typed it into the Facebook search thing, I'd know. But Scani tradition. Scani being a Wisconsin fan. Referring to Wisconsin. S C O N N I E, and then tradition. He's got a 200 sub contest. Uh. And it's perfect for me, where yeah. it isn't just show your favorite card or talk about cards and blah, 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 which that's all right, but um, it's more so about getting to know the person that's making said uh, contest response video or trying to generate some actual, hey, I know you other than you collect Josh Johnson well. <laughs> that's all right. Um, but the first question, and I'll see if I can leave his link below. But as I said, Scani Tradition, Scott, uh, capital S, C, O, N, N, I, E, then a, the blank space, and then capital T on the word Tradition. First, he asked your favorite song, band, or artist. This is absolutely impossible for me to really choose one as you've known from other videos like this. Uh, I have a tough time just choosing one thing because that's, I think you can't. So through the artists, I would pick, and I've got three, four written down, but I mean, that by no means means are the only four I listen to. You can pretty put a much, pretty much put on any genre of music, and I can listen to it and find something that I enjoy in it. Um, Five Finger Death Punch. I know they get labeled as a uh, Nickelback of heavy metal. That's all right. I love them. I don't care what people think. I, uh, if you don't know that about me by now, uh, welcome, welcome to Earth, Third Rock from the Sun. Um, Disturbed, another huge fan of them. Notorious B.I.G. Absolutely loved him. A, because he was a big dude. I'm fat, so <laughs> he could spit the game. I can play games like chess, Connect Four, and one that I mean you hear those three and like okay, and I should put a fifth one too. So I'll put these guys before the last. Uh, the Bee Gees, I love them absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fucking love them, especially the stuff. Prior to Saturday Night Fever, they 
got some stuff that when they started out absolute bangers as the youth of this day and age would say something about it being lit and then last but not least oh I'll give one Bee Gees song Spicks and the Specks <clears throat> I don't think it means Mexicans I think it's whatever over in England or Australia one of the something from their youth maybe the haves and the have nots I don't know I've never looked into it but I, I love that but my last one's Gordon Lightfoot I'd like to see him in concert before he dies he's usually touring quite a bit but he's up there in age um two songs that I love right off the top of my head obviously um The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald one of the best songs absolutely of all time and then uh Sundown Tell, storytelling that's what anything <clears throat> any musician that is pretty much popular today lacks like a, a, a painting a picture that nobody is the Bob Ross like Gordon Lightfoot of music um, second question I won't go through songs because I mean it's there's so many of all those guys I mean I did a Celine Dion song for my shower Taking a shower, Celine Dion, and to love you more. Go, go back on the videos. 2011, 12, somewhere there. Anyway, I love her too. Not her genderless children's wear, though. Um, but yeah, songs, music, that's it. Abs and people say it all the time. And I, I completely get it. it. It's a main part of my life where... I need it. It it helps me on pretty much every day because every day is not, not a good day. Uh, number two, though, favorite movie. I got three. And I probably have more. Tommy Boy, Caddyshack, and Clerks. I also love Mallrats, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Cry Baby, The Stoned Age, um, Night of the Living Dead, the original. I'm sure I'm missing stuff in there, but uh, I'm not a huge movie person. I mean, if I watch it, that's one I'm going to stick with. I don't want to sit there and watch something new. As good as it may seem, I mean, there's so many over the past ten years that I wanted to see. I may have seen half of a half dozen of them. I just don't. I'm not a movie person as much as I am. Which is the, the next question? I'll be more of that. What's your favorite TV show or series? And it doesn't have to be TV, obviously, now with the advent of Netflix and Hulu and all these exclusives that are online. Uh. I got four I wrote down. The Office, which fucking, the first four or five years of absolute magic. Simpsons, same thing, their first eight-ish, nine, maybe? There's a few after that, and then, I don't know, there's more quotable parts and absolute gold in that, especially when Conan O'Brien was working. As soon as they got their, uh, it's like, I don't know, 92, 93 ish, right in there. That was season 3, 4, 5, somewhere in there. Those were jackpot every time. Um, Unsolved Mysteries, great, great show. The music on there, amazing. Same with Rescue 911. I'm surprised they don't do any, uh, they put that back in like syndication or something. That was a, a great show. And my favorite show, I don't even know what else I'm missing, but it doesn't matter because this obviously, Kids in the Hall would be another one I love too. But uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000, that is far and away <clears throat> my favorite show. If you've never seen it, I just say 
try it out. Look for uh, Final Sacrifice. That would be one I'd suggest. Uh, number four question. What drew you to Scott's YouTube channel? What attracts or appeals to the channel to you? Um, I don't know if you had put on there something in one of the, uh, the Facebook pages about made a new video showing off some cards. I said, huh, interesting. You know you, you had a YouTube channel because most of the guys <clears throat> that are on Facebook now, you don't see links to videos. It's just, hey, here's my cards. Boom, done. And you walk away. And I think Mike, baseball collector, perhaps in one of his um, videos, or maybe Eric, those back pages, somebody else had mentioned you along the way, and when I saw what you were picking up, I said, I need to fucking at least watch some of these videos, because this is the same shit I'm either sort of getting, or I fucking want to get, because I mean, there's stuff that exactly what I want to pick up, and that's what attracted me to the channel. Hey, you're in Wisconsin, I'm in Minnesota, so that that helps always having the Midwest connection, and uh, like I said, the same stuff that I try to get, you're getting, and I mean, you're leaps and bounds with some of this, it's just, you know how much I like the patches, you know? comment on some of my videos and I've commented on yours <clears throat> where again it's some of that backer shit I mean I just drool and I look like the, the wolf from the 50's cartoons that sees the hot chick and my tongue's wagging out I'm whistling and I'm slapping and slamming my foot on the ground getting excited because I'm like oh, holy shit that's that's fucking amazing and even though I'm not a big old school vintage guy it's not like I say oh it's not a trout auto fuck off no that's just I'd love to pick up graded vintage I just I know I wouldn't have the funds to do it I mean I'd have to trim down so much of the fat and some of the meat of the collection I just ugh, I can't right now bring myself to do that in the future will I? maybe Will it be too late by then? Because after that shit will jump in price exponentially. Probably, but... <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff I know I want to get rid of. But at the same time, there's a lot... Of, I don't know... If I... Like your... Yeah. Uh, your Unitas. What was it? 50... 57? 56? Whatever. You just picked up a Topps Unitas. You had the Jim Brown... Uh, graded PSA graded rookie that stuff I'm, I just I, I love it because I mean you can find great copies of these cards that are in a low grade and it's still it's still a visually appealing card where it's not like torn in half and looks like somebody played like a you fold up the paper do the little the bubblegum bubblegum in a dish sort of thing I mean these are great color on the card Every, all the words are still there there's nothing ripped peeled no pinholes stuff like that I mean if it's rounded corners so be it I mean they're well loved cards and you're getting some great copies of these cards so I mean that's obviously why it's stuck with the channel and, and then uh, Eric too I think Eric or Joey said it Burke Cat 8, <clears throat> that you're well-spoken. I mean, it's not like you're me, and you go on a diatribe, then you tumble down the hill, you try to get back up the hill, and you go on another path, and then, I mean, yeah, I'm all over the place. You're well-spoken, and you seem like you really enjoy what you're getting. It's not just... <sighs> Take a card from your think the scene pile, I don't know if, maybe not, maybe none of these have been seen yet, oh, where can I get a card that, I'm going here, I'm be like, oh, I got the Swan Soto rookie, might grade it, 
and that's it. It's like, no, I want some substance. I want people to actually give a shit about what they're spending their money on. Because if they don't give a shit about what they're spending their money on, why the fuck am I or anyone else going to give a shit about any card that they pick up and purchase? That's, I, and that's sort of where I always get annoyed with the hobby, but you're, you're a good part of that hobby, Scott, so I mean, that's, that's why I love watching your videos, and it's not just like a five minute video, I know people like to keep them short for others, I don't, obviously I'm at 15, nearly 16 minutes of rambling, I really haven't even taken a breath yet, so, it's, that's what uh, attracted me. Just you seeming to be a, a down to earth dude who really enjoyed everything that you've picked up and have knowledge of everything you've picked up. Not just being some schlub and saying, oh, I got this, this card, it's shiny. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it's numbered and it's shiny. So, I mean, I like it then. That's a good way to start in the hobby, but I'm not looking for a lot of that so again that's that that will be my short answer you like what you pick up and you know what you like and you have information and knowledge about it and you share your knowledge uh, shout out a youtuber and this is the final one and you got to be subscribed to Scott I forgot to mention that on the onset of the video you have to be subscribed to him to be in this contest and whatnot a shout out to a YouTuber at 200 or less subs. I had two. You can just pick one. I was going to pick Eric, but I saw he crept over 200. Uh, those back pages, I'll mention him here regardless, due to the fact that a lot of the older school guys from when I started in like 2010, and like a lot of the new school guys in the last year, 18 months. I don't know how much have completely meshed. It sort of seems like at times a disjointed grouping. <coughs> but that's alright. And that's you come in with like who you come in with and it's most of the time you feel comfortable around those people. So I and I know a lot of the guys from back in my when I started don't really do videos anymore, which Again, that's fine. Life and just the, the time it takes. If you really want to do a good video that attracts lots of people, which obviously I don't. I just like talking and spilling knowledge like I dropped a gallon of milk on the floor. But Eric, um, those back pages, I've known him forever. Some forums since, uh, I don't know. The Beckett forums, the Beckett message boards, the BMBs, and I started on there in like, oh, oh, two, oh, three, I was on the buy, sell trade like in 98, and then that sort of changed up, and we all just sort of went to the message boards and created hell over there. Some of the, my best friends in this card game are people I've known from that that era, um, but Eric mostly did baseball then, and there wasn't a lot of jumping around, so if you're a baseball guy, you stayed on the baseball sections of the boards, if you're a football guy like I was back then, hardcore, I was only the football, I mean, I'd go over to baseball and I'd post, like, I'm looking for a Brayu, I'm looking for Derek Lee, <clears throat> people like that, Mike Cameron. And I mean, I'd get very few hits because I had a, like, a North Cut fan on there. But Eric and I, we chatted a little then. Not much. It wasn't until Freedom Cardboard in 2000. I don't know if they started in 8 and I joined up like a year later in 9. So I was looking for a forum because Beckett was just a joke. And I think we talked a lot there because uh, I just started posting on there because it was just a big cluster of people. Like, the general chat area was just, like, heaven for me, because you just chatted about anything, or baseball, the baseball chat, everything was just fun. 
so I got to know him through there, and just a great guy, just down to earth, uh, love him, I absolutely love him, I, so when he started making videos, I mean, it just, I was excited, like, chills, like, finally, some people are going to get to know outside of the forum world how knowledgeable Eric is, so that would have been one, but he crept over 200, I think he's like 205, 208, the one I'm going to do, he's only put up a few videos, and I don't know if he's got enough like, feedback, because he's a younger kid, and that's, you hear that coming from me, you're thinking, ah, you hate kids, you get annoyed easily, and I do, and this is, these are facts, but, uh, no-nos, like N-O-N-O -N -O apostrophe as football cards. And the reason I chose him, because he's only got 10, 12 subscribers. The kid I grew up with in Ely that lived on the block, probably my best friend until I was 8, and then we moved and talked to him still, but not as much. His kid, who's I think like in seventh, sixth, seventh grade, has picked up the hobby and is collecting. And that's what I want. I want to see kids that actually like the hobby and aren't sucked into the depths of I need to have the best card because my friends or to impress my friends. If you're trying to impress people with cards, you're going to have a shitty life. If people are impressed by your cards that you like, and they're just like, whatever, then you'll be fine. But if you're trying to impress others with goods, it's, that's a waste of time. So no-nos football cards, Noah. Uh, got him a Beckett from the store, and it says Grandma when I saw, when I picked up my daughter school, and she was like, you, you want me to give me money? I'm like, no. I saw Aaron, his dad, put up videos of him. I said, this is going to at least not get him ripped off in trades. You can have some sort of general idea of what some of your cards are worth. Yes, eBay and all these other, with the worth point, and doing everything that way is uh, <clears throat> probably better to actually have a market value, but or current market value, but at least you have something that you're not just like, oh, I've got a Patman Mahomes Auto rookie. It's got to be at least 40 bucks. Yeah, okay, and then you trade that for a Trubisky Auto, and you're just getting screwed over huge. But I just want to build him up so <clears throat> he gets confidence to make more videos to stay in the hobby, maybe to bring some more people in, because up in Ely, where I'm at, we got Shopco, and they've got nothing new, I went there, and there's still uh, the 2015 Topps Chrome Mini, um, like three pack hangers that are there, that's the newest thing we've got, was like Prestige Football, and then, there might have been some update Topps Baseball, I don't even know if that was there. So when I looked, I didn't, even, I didn't even pick anything up. I said, no, nah, I'm good. That there was nothing there. But uh, give him a look. Uh, if you got kids in the hobby, maybe send them his way. I just want to, because that's got to be tough. Back in most of our days, when we, when we collected, everybody collected or everybody knew about baseball cards today how many think how many kids think about baseball cards you got cell phones video portable video or handheld video gaming systems um computers still to a degree um all the traveling sports I mean, nobody really does much in the way of baseball cards. Usually it's uh, baseball cards. Those are still out there? They are. And, uh, 
trying to get Naomi to do that. It's a, it's a, it's a struggle, so if I can help, I won't say mold someone, but I want, I want to use my knowledge with him for good and just like, you don't have to always have the most valuable card because the most valuable card is not always the best card. So uh, that would be it. Scott, thank you for the contest. I will add at the end here that uh, December 16th, I believe, at noon is the cutoff date for this. So uh, I want to make this, have it done, especially with all of the marbles rolling around in my head. I want to get them all spit out so uh, we processed and people can use their my pillow and like they got on Black Friday and uh, sleep to my soothing, dulcet tones. Um, thank you for the contest. Uh, get amongst the people. It's, these, as you can tell, I like it because you've been talking for 26 minutes. I don't think anyone's going to watch. But uh, I like it because you get to know somebody else. On a whole different level instead of a generic I collect Topps Chrome refractors. That's cool. I collect Josh Johnson. Oh, that's cool. And then silence. No, I want to know that you like the Beatles or you hate the Beatles or you collect Beatles or you go in the woods to find Beatles. So, uh, thank you, Scott. Thank you, anybody that made it this far. If you did, kudos to you. Give yourself a Barry Horowitz pat on the back and uh, take her easy, which is easy. Take her twice.